Yeah, I've just got the accessory decoder wired up, the ESU uh, switch pilot, which can handle four sets of points, uh, eight uncouplers, or four, I think four or districts of lighting. I'm not sure exactly. It can do more. You could probably wire up two point motors to one output if you want them to work in tandem with each other yeah, at exactly the same time, which I will be doing on certain parts of my layout. But you can power it via a transformer, uh, or you can take the power off the track, which would then, you just bridge the connections, and wire it up accordingly with the screws, and the, that takes a power feed and the data straight from the track that goes into the unit. Or you can separate these wires and just have two negative and positive going to your transformer to power X amount of units, I don't know, depending on how many you want. Uh, so I've got a basic flashman signal connected up and a flashman point motor and your negative, your black earth goes to C on the connectors and your red and green go to uh, either output A, output B and the same on the flashman point motor. So that's just for the basic setup. And I think you can change the polarity of them around on the software on the ECOS. Which is good. Uh, the good thing is you can wire these up to these little block connectors and then just plug them in. There's no messing around. So, which is good if you're underneath a layout and it's screwed in by that hole. There's, uh, it's easy to wire up, which is a good idea. So that is how I wired that. Another point is, is to switch the slider. Uh, mode, I've got it set to K84 on the slide switch control. K84 enables the light signal to power all the time, continuously. Without that slid in that position, it will it just won't light up correctly, the signal. Uh, and then eventually you go to your ECOS, accessory, press on accessories, press on the spanner. And then assign two accessories, which I have done here. You press on, say, point. I've just put in a left hand point. You just name it. I've named it yard one. Uh, accessory, you can change the name of that as well if you want. Operation time of how many milliseconds you want it to switch over at. Address one to whatever you want to do it to. I'll just put it on address number one. And the uh, when you've done that, you just press the tick button, and it will, it should work. I'm going to just get out of that. You press, it will work, no problem. That easy to set up. And of course, you can call that up on the iPod as well. You just press um, points, and it'll bring up the name of the point which I've named it Yard 1 and you can just work it like that and obviously it works, it shows you on the ECOS and of course you can do that on the iPad and I've done the same with the signal exactly the same way with the signal just went into uh, Add Accessory named it Yard 1 well it's a light signal, you pick what light signal you want because there's many different types so you just pick what symbol you want and that adds that symbol to the track plan when you're drawing out your track plans the same thing accessory address number is number two and that's it you can change a light signal just by tapping on there and that changes the light signal I think you can work these in tandem with points as well, but I'm not sussed out how to do that yet. So I just go to uh, the iPod or iPad, press signals, and you can control it, obviously, on the iPad, which is good. That's it. And then, obviously, you add all, all your accessories, are all in banks of 15 or 20. I think you can add quite a lot. Um, and then obviously if you want to add, draw up a track plan, you can do, I've just drawn a little small one here, just press spanner, 
say add accessory to that area and it will bring up the two accessories I've just installed so I'll bring up um, point I'm not sure I've not named it point or I'm not sure I'm going to do this press on that so there we go it'll bring up the point accessory and if I want to add the signal say just there I'll add a signal and there's the signal uh, get out of that that auto saves and then you just press that red and green and that will work the signal and the point which I've just installed so it's a very easy once you get your head around it, it is very easy so it's just a quick demo before I actually install this because I'm going to install it to operate two three-way points um, and then obviously I'll order some more and see how we go. Well, that's just a quick demo. Thanks again for watching.